Well, the state is relaxing some of its restrictions on long term care facilities, allowing in person visitations to resume. The staff at Sayre Christian Village in Lexington tell our Sophia Millar they reviewed the new guidance and are preparing to welcome visitors into the building starting on Tuesday. Nearly a year later, families will be able to meet face to face with loved ones in some long term care facilities. Naturally, they are ec ecstatic. They're excited to be able to connect with their loved ones. Sayre Christian Village is rolling out a plan for the in-person visitations to resume in three of their facilities starting Tuesday. My team, we've been meeting all weekend trying to figure out what is going to work best so that we follow the guidance and so that we can have as many visits as we can um, as we can because we know that we're essentially going to be opening up the floodgates. We know the families are going to be want, are going to want to come in here. CEO Karen Venus says their plan is formulated around guidance released by the state on Friday. To start, family members will need to schedule their visits on the Sayre Christian Village website. When they come in, they will have to show proof of a negative COVID test within 72 hours or proof of a vaccine, um, having both rounds of that vaccine. If for some reason they don't have that paperwork, Vina says staff will administer a rapid test before letting visitors in. And then we will escort them to the designated area where that visit will take place. Visits are scheduled daily in one hour blocks and will be staggered to minimize contact between different households. COVID restrictions like masks and social distancing will still be enforced. And as part of that, visitors will be limited to certain areas, which include either the resident's apartment or designated spaces around the building. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. Certainly good news for residents and their families. Kentucky has only eased visitation restrictions for non-Medicare certified facilities, which include assisted living, personal care, intermediate care, and independent living centers. The state is still waiting on a change in guidance for all the other facilities.